Hey, Tate and Zoe community, it's Rachel here. And um, we are so excited today to be interviewing Kara Witten. And Kara has, um, well, she's our very first ever gifted artist. And she has designed a line of fabulously fun uh, trinket trays and ring dishes for us that are exclusive to Tate and Zoe. So today we'll just be talking to Kara, um, talking about what inspires her and her designs, and then also just getting a little bit personal about what she's been up to during quarantine. So, um, hey, Kara. Hi, how are you? Doing well. Um, so uh, let's just start by talking a little about, about where you're from. Um, where do you live now? Where did you grow up? Okay. Um, so currently I'm in Austin, Texas. I was actually born here and you know there's so many people moving to Austin because it's like the hot city. Um, but I can actually say I was born here and I was raised right outside the city in a, just a small town called Wimberley. And then once I graduated high school, I came back to Austin for college and went to college at UT and have been here ever since. So cool. A Texas girl through and through. Yeah. Love it. Exactly. Um, well, the story about how one trip into a fabric store completely changed the trajectory of your career is just fascinating to me. So can you tell us that story? Yeah. So actually, I went to school at UT for chemical engineering, which is not at all creative or anything to do with what I do now. Uh, but I worked for about a week at a local research company. And she's like, I can't do this for the rest of my life. I can't work in a lab forever for 40 years and so i went um i quit after a week and was unemployed and i was also engaged newly engaged and my grandmother was going to sew my wedding dress and so we went to the fabric store to look for fabric and a pattern and i happened upon a bag pattern and i was like oh this is cool and so my mom bought it for me and I just spent my time while I was job hunting sewing with my sewing machine that I had gotten from my high school graduation and making little purses and bags. And I took them to some local stores to see if they want to sell them. And they're like, yeah, sure. Put them on consignment. And they sold within a, like a week. And um, so that was kind of, I was like, oh, people will pay for something that I make and create. Awesome. And so I started my company then, Kyla Chic, and that was back in 2005. And I think it's funny, one of my stories I always say is when I first started, I didn't have a digital camera or anything. So in order to list my products online on my website that I built from scratch, I would take pictures with a film camera, get the film develop, developed, and then scan in the images to put them online on my website. So it's like, that's how old school, like that's how long ago I started, so. Times have changed. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Nice. I have all of the family wanting to come in on this live apparently right now, even though I told them not to, not to, not to bother me. <laughs> Why not? They're all wanting to come in right now, sorry. No problem. So it's obvious that you love fun, bright colors and designs um, and, and patterns in your designs. So yeah. what inspires you? Where do you get your inspiration? I mean, everywhere right now, I would say, you know, Instagram and seeing other people's work and then just like seeing the way they put colors together that inspires me to do something else where I just kind of see the potential in items. I love window shopping. I love going and seeing big store displays like Anthropologies overscale large store displays and to try and find ways to replicate those into something you would actually have in your house. And so just different, I don't know, I guess from just everywhere, you know, what I see and then like my brain interprets it in different ways or finds ways to scale it down or scale it up or add color to something to kind of make it unique in my own style. I love that. That's so cool. So how did your love of design turn into a DIY blog? Your DIY blog is called A Kylo Chic Life. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm just curious, how did it go from you being a designer of handbags to this blog? So I, about 10 years into Kylo Chic, I had designed a line of laptop bags. Well, actually, that was two years into Kylo Chic, I designed a line of women's laptop bags that were all patterned and colorful because at that time there was only red and black laptop bags for women like there just wasn't a lot of options out there and I really wanted to bring my love for color and patterns to something that's more functional like a laptop bag um, in 2015 I had a couple companies knock off my bags and I was like you know I really need to start social media and branding and kind of creating this um, Kylo Chic brand name and that's when I started my blog now I've always been crafty and creative and liked to make things so it was kind of a natural fit to show how to create all of these products that I was hand making and selling 
then I just shared that with other people and as well as many other things of like, here's how you can make your home more colorful or more colorful accessories or whatever it was. Very cool. Very cool. Well, like I mentioned before, Kara has designed um, a line of trinket trays and ring dishes that are exclusive to Tate and Zoe. And I just want to know what inspired that collection? Um, actually, I think, I believe it was some of my pumpkins that I had painted for Halloween inspired the set of ring dishes. I did a color blocked pumpkins with some gold accents and we were like, that would translate really, really well into a fun ring dish. And I like, I love the way that they turned out. I think it's really cool and it doesn't look Halloween-ish or anything at all, but it was just, it's where you can, you know, see that, that draw from inspiration that's like all around you and how you can like reimagine it into different uh, products. And then just the trinket trays, I think those are great for all sorts of purposes, not just jewelry. And so I wanted to have some fun, colorful patterns on those because if somebody's afraid to introduce color into their home or into their life, something small like that is really an easy step that they can bring a little color in without like painting their wall, you know, bright pink. That's so true. Yeah. That's so true. I love that. So can you give us some fun ways um, that maybe people wouldn't have thought of that they could use the trinket trades or things they could use them for that they maybe wouldn't have thought of? Yeah. I mean, I definitely think one way that I would love to use it is in the bathroom with the soaps or like, you know, you can even do some little decorative soaps. I have a lot of DIYs for those if you want to make your own, but as like a soap dish in your bathroom or with candles and some matches, you know, in your kitchen or something that you can easily light, but just different ways that you can use it. it doesn't necessarily have to be jewelry or even a catch all, you know, at your entryway for your keys. And your, my husband always takes off his wedding ring when he comes in the house. So it's like something like that where he could put that. Um, totally. Yeah. We've even had, um, they actually happen to be the perfect size for guest towels. So you oh, can really? put them in the bathroom um, and use those like disposable paper guest towels. Oh, yeah, them. definitely. I don't think you knew when you designed them, but no, I didn't. surprise. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many options for, for them. Yes, I love how versatile they are. So now I kind of want to switch gears and get personal. Um, we've all been quarantined during this time of social distancing. And um, I'm just curious to know how has uh, the social distancing impacted your business and what have you guys been up to as a family? Yeah. So uh, speaking of like, they're all right behind the computer here, like <laughs> trying to talk to me. That's about normal on par for a quarantine. Um, as far as business, we've been, um, since I always, I do most of it myself anyway, it hasn't really changed that much. And I'm always working from home. Normally I have a studio out in the backyard. So it's, that part really hasn't changed much. Um, just trying to do it with kids in tow. So we've got three kids here that are just, you know, constantly mommy, 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 mommy. I'm like, you know, daddy's like literally right there. You could ask him, you know, yeah, <laughs> but, <yeah. laughs> mommy, can you do this? Like, Oh, I'm doing a live mommy, mommy, mommy. I'm like, daddy's right there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so like, you know, it's, it's, I think it's gotten the best of all of us that are trying to work from home with kids. Um, and then as far as keeping them entertained, you know, we try to do a family bike ride. We have a hot tub. So we've been enjoying that in the evening um, and then my daughter's really, she loves doing crafts. So she's been crafting and making a puppet show with a concession stand. And today she made a tent with lanterns and string lights up in the playroom and she's making campfire games. So she's been really good at entertaining herself and finding crafty things to do and then trying to get the other kids to help her do those. As well. Nice. So nice. I'm like relying on her. I'm like, yes, babysit, you know, let's take care of that. Entertain yourselves. Well, she's clearly very creative, just like her mom. Yeah, she's definitely picking up on that. I think, you know, a couple of years she'll be my employee. So. Nice. I love it. Um, well, obviously, you're a total girl boss. Um, and you're a mom. You run a successful blog. You're a creator, a designer. Um, do you have a favorite quote that you live by? I don't. I think one of them, my friend, she... Um, I think I'll just quote her. Her name is Amy from Delineate Your Dwelling. She's also a DIY blogger, but hers was Just Start. And I think that that applies for businesses. I have a lot of people that are like, how did you get started? I'm just too, too worried about this, or they don't want to put themselves out there, or what they've created. And it's like, just start from where you are, because you'll always be like, I should have started earlier. Like for me, I'm always like, I should have done this earlier. I should have started a couple of years before I did. And it's like, you know what, just start where you are. 
and you know, it'll, it'll all fall into place and you'll learn as you go, because that's, if you just keep waiting, it'll never happen. I love that. Yeah. I love that so much. Yeah. Well, where can we find you on social media? Um, so all of my, you can find me Facebook, Twitter, even TikTok and Instagram. It's all at Kyla Chic. So it just kind of made it easy. It's just K-A-I-L-O-C-H-I-C. And all of them, you can find me on all of those channels just at, at Kyla Chic. And then KylaChic.com and at KylaChicLife.com, my blog. Love it. And guys, be sure to check out um, her collection that she designed just for Tate and Zoe. Really super cute ring dishes and trinket trays. And you can find those at TateandZoe.com. And you can also find out more about Kara um, under our Gifted Artists tab. So Kara, thank you so much for taking the time today to talk with us. You're such an inspiration and we're just so excited to partner with you. All right. Well, thank you so much. I'm so excited. And I have to say my favorite, or I don't know, the trinket trays of like the terrazzo or the palm leaf one, right? Those are my favorite. Are your favorites? Yeah. I love it. My favorite is the terrazzo. I just yeah. love the colors. Yeah, definitely. That dark color was like sold it, right? Yes, totally. Well, thank you so much, Kara. And we'll talk soon. Okay. Bye. Bye, everyone.